This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson function with parameters. Let's see. Music Player. This program lets you play music by waving a wand over the different notes, but it's missing a function definition. Bum bum bum. Do this. Create a check notes function that will call check notes note on everything in the notes array. Ah, so we need to add a function, check notes. Oh, and they have it here, check notes. Do we have it? We have a check note. So now we just need a function that will run this function, calling it, right, using the code inside on every element of our array. So that's probably, okay, got it. So we need to do this on every element. So first we need to grab a function block, and then, oh, I'm gonna need a parameter right? Because I can see we're going to want to pass something to it. Well, am I? Hmm, not if I use the loop. I'm going to cancel that. Maybe not. All right. So we want to check the notes. We want to loop through our entire array. So let's go grab a control and use that. Okay, i starts at zero, which makes sense because c4 is at index zero. And how many are there? One, two, three. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. I can use notes.length, and that will just return the length of my array. And thankfully, length is one more than index always, because when you count length, the computer goes one, notice I didn't say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the length is eight, and our index starts at zero. So if we start our loop at zero, well, zero, one, two, we would go all the way up to seven, get to our last element, and then hit 8, and we're done, but we already went through it all. So what do we want to do on each? Well, we want to call the function that they've already made for us. How do we call a function? We write its name. So check note, and then the parameter is going to be part of our array, our notes array, and we want to grab, well, whatever whatever index we're at. We start at 0, so I'm using i because i is going to change as we go through the loop. Let's test it out. Oop, what did I mess up? Oh, I didn't name my function. Oh. Oh, I need to reset. I'm not going to be good at this. <laughs> All right. Awesome. It works. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Let's keep going.